Hi everybody and welcome to Minecraft Fever and my journey into learning Minecraft. That's with me, Dad Dancer. In my last session we finally sorted out my non-existent storage system so at least now I have a bit more of an idea of where everything is. So in this video we're going to start enchanting by creating an enchanting table and seeing what kind of improvements that we can make with our armour, weapons and tools. Now if this is the first time you've joined us it would mean a lot to me if you would consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification, leaving a like or even a comment and just give me some advice on how I can improve. So without me withering on any further let's jump straight into the video. Now to create or craft our enchanting table we're going to have to find some obsidian and dig some up. Now the only way you can dig obsidian up is with a diamond pickaxe. So luckily I do have a couple of diamonds here. We're also going to need to save a couple for our uh, enchanting table because you do need that as part of the recipe. But um, obsidian you can find it by placing water over lava. So first off let's just quickly craft our diamond pickaxe. So it does mean we're going to have to go back down the mine. So I've just left the house on my way to the mine and um, as you can see I've only got four sheep in the pen. Now that was because I just popped out uh, earlier on and uh, I found a wolf in the pen with these four sheep left. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue every time I can just quickly grab some wheat so that uh, I can how many have I got there? Just so that I can start breeding them back up again. So um, I've got a, a couple here. So I'll do that on my way to the mine. And while I've got my eggs there, I'll just go and throw them into the uh, into the chicken pen as well. Because I'm going to start killing the chickens off in a moment as well. So let's just love them two up. Get rid of the eggs. And then I'll see you down the mine. Now I was doing some mining, some strip mining, just to gather some resources. Um, as you can see, my uh, my torches, they're on the right, so that will find the right way home, and uh, down there on the left. And when I was uh, branching off here, I think I found some lava, a lava pool back here. So if I'm right, no, it's not. Yes, it was. I thought so. I just blocked it up because I haven't been up there yet. So what I'm going to do is I'll just block this area. Oh, some redstone there as well. And if I've got enough cobble, just so that I know that I'm not going to get any visitors coming up from behind. So uh, what I shall do is I'm just going to quickly place a couple of blocks down here just so that uh, uh, I can stay. Uh, I can stay safe. Let's just pop one in there. One in there and one in there so it just means I'm going to be a little bit safe I don't have to keep looking over my shoulder whilst I'm getting all of this obsidian I can also take my shield out and um oh not like that I can also take my shield out and plant um let's get my oh, I'll be quick with the diamond and plant some uh, torches down as well now if I get my bucket of water and I place the bucket of water over the lava it does mean I can then get some Obsidian. There we go. I need to get the water out again. Let's pop it down in that one and uh, out of there. What's going on here then? I. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my diamond pickaxe. I'm going to place my bucket of water in. Uh, I'm going to place it in here actually as well, because I'm hoping that uh, when I uh, when I actually break this block, which will take about nine and a half seconds to break this block, the water will rush straight into the lava and um, turn that lava to obsidian as well. I'm hoping I won't lose the block as well. No, nope, there is the block so I can stand in here as well, but I'm not going to risk that too much. Let's uh, jump up to here again and carry on breaking these blocks. So I need obsidian to make an enchanting table. I also need obsidian to make a nether portal as well. But this is going to take a little bit of time as each block will take nine and a half seconds to uh, to break. The water behind it is stopping the obsidian being lost in the lava as well. So um, that was a good old handy tip that uh, I found. It's not one of my tips but it's a good old handy tip that um, works really really well. So anyway, I'm just going to carry on doing this as it's going to take a, a couple of minutes and then I'll see you once I've got the obsidian. 
So here we are, we're back at the house and uh, we had a pretty good haul. I managed to find a little bit of gold and uh, 28 obsidian uh, I managed to grab and also a couple of uh, a couple of redstone dusts as well. So uh, I'm just going to pop all this into uh, into the chest just for now, although I'll leave that out, pop the redstone in and the obsidian in just for now. Um, pop the uh, Let's put the gold in here whilst, uh, whilst we're going off and doing other things. Now, when we actually make our um, our enchanting table, I'm actually going to pop it in over here and I'm going to surround it by bookshelves. Now, the more bookshelves you have, the stronger the enchantment will be with a maximum of 15 bookshelves. So it doesn't matter whether you've got 15 or 30 or you'll get the maximum of the enchantments there. Now, to make the bookshelves, you need plenty of books. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run back and find the, the village that uh, we passed through. I don't know if you've been following my journey, but um, very early on the journey, we passed through a village and um, we didn't get time. Well, we didn't have any space in our, in, on, in our inventory, so we actually left it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop out here. As you can see, I'm slowly breeding the sheep up. I'm going to pop out here and I'm going to run back to the village, which is literally over. Well, as the crow flies, it's literally straight ahead. So I'm just going to head to the village and see what goodies I can find and see if I can find any um, any books or bookcases that I might pilfer over there. So I'll catch up with you when I get to the village. So here we are, I'm just heading to the village now. So uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look around. Sometimes there might be a librarian with a lot of bookshelves there. So I'm gonna see what goodies I can find as uh, I haven't had a chance to come up here and see what uh, what there is to, uh, to loot. So um, I'm just gonna uh, work my way through all of the uh, all of the buildings. This looks promising. Yay! There we go. There's some. Uh, did I bring an axe with me? Yes, I did. So uh, let's grab an axe, and uh, this will be a start as well with uh, what I can do. Oh, he's not very happy up there, is he? So uh, let's see what else we can find. Anything up here? Nope. Sorry, pal. But needs must, as they say. Let's see what we've got over here. Oh, got a chest. Oh. Actually, I'll take the chest. Oh, another one. What we got in there? Yeah, I'll take that one as well. Grab all the bits and pieces. Oh, and another one. No idea what was in there. I'm just going to grab them all and then head on back. Is there anything up there? So sometimes there's a house on top of the hill. But, um, but we've got a couple. There's another house, two houses down there. So I'll just check those two out. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, make my way back to uh, back to our farmhouse and uh, start making up some books so that we can uh, build uh, a better enchanting area. Oh. What have we got here? Let's grab a couple of these while I'm here. Could always do with a couple of extra hay bales. So let's see what we've got. We've got a couple of chests, 12 books, hay bales, feather. Oh, what are these? Empty map and some paper. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way back to the uh, back to the house and I'll see you when I get home. So here I am. I'm now back at the uh, I'm now back at the house. So um, let's start making up some bookcases and crafting that enchanting table. So to make some bookcases, I think I'm going to also need some 
planks of wood. So have I got any made up? Nope, not yet. Let's grab some planks here. So uh, we'll just sort out, uh, we'll get some made up here as well. Just use all of these. Let's just uh, click on there. And there we go, bookcase. It's a bit like a sandwich with the books in the middle, planks either side. So um, let's, how many can we actually make? Let's see, we can make one, two, three three there at the moment so um that's what we got at the minute so let's start placing our bookcases around let's say 15 is the maximum that uh, you can have so we're going to start by placing one there one there one there and one there so when i put i'll actually place my enchanting table in this square so two in from both sides so now we're going to craft our enchanting table. So what we need is the diamonds. We need our obsidian and also we're going to need a book. Now, I um, I used all the books for the bookcases. So I need to make another one. So in here, I've got some paper um, and I've also got the, uh, the leather. So that's how you make the book. So I do need to make one more book from here. And uh, let's just quickly find one in the recipe just for speed. So there's our book there. So from here, the, um, well, let's see if I can do this from memory. The obsidian is done like a an upside down T. The book goes at the top. Oh, there it is there. And we get one diamond, one to the right and one to the left. So there we go. There's our enchanting table. So what we're going to do, let's go and pop it in its place. So uh, like I said, we're going to go from uh, two in from both walls. So one, two, one, two, which brings it to about here. And there we go. So I can build up the bookcases around so that we can get better enchantments. So let's have a look at this enchanting table. Now, when you right click on the enchanting table, you'll get this enchant box that comes up. And in the empty square, you just need to place the item you wish to enchant. So you can either place a tool, a weapon, let's put my sword up there, or even a piece of armour. Now nothing will actually happen until you um, put a piece of lapis in there, and you can see all three have lit up, all three um, sections in the table. Now the green numbers down the left hand side, that will tell you how many, how many experience points each enchant or that particular enchant will use up. Now the experience points are the points down at the bottom. You can see at the moment I have 28 and my green bar is just over halfway. Now every time we collect a green orb and we can get those orbs by defeating a mob, by breeding our, our animals, by killing our animals, by mining certain items like coal, by going to the nether. Every time you get one of those orbs, your green bar at the bottom there will go along from left to right. Every time it gets to the end, you then increase your enchantment level by one. In this case, we have 28. So if I go back into the enchantment table, and place my lapis up there as you need that to make this work and the item I wish to do. The number on the right, that is the number of experience levels you need to have before you can use that particular enchantment. Obviously using three lots of levels, experience levels is gonna be the better enchantment than just using the one. So in this instance, we can use looting. Now, looting, if I put that on my sword here, that will take up three of my experience levels, which would take mine down to 25. And I, But I need to have an experience level of at least 11 for it to work. Now, looting is if I kill something, then you get a better drop from that item. So if I killed a, a mob, I might get a better drop from the mob if I kill one of the animals I might get a little bit extra there so that's what I think I should do so I need an experience level of uh, 11 now the best the the highest you'll need is 30 now your experience levels can go higher than 30 but um, down the right hand side the highest number you'll uh, you'll need will be 30 experience levels sounds a bit complicated i'm still trying to get my brain around it at the moment but right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to enchant my sword with looting to see how that works and then place it down as you can see my lapis has gone down i'm now down to six so that also took three lapis 
It also took three of my experience levels, but uh, you can also use this to enchant your armor. So if I take my armor off, let's see if there's, I haven't got much lapis to do this. Let's see what we can enchant there. So let's put my body armor on, my chest plate, pop it in there and see what I've got. So I've got unbreaking protection one, it's not great. I'd like, uh, I would have preferred it a little bit higher than just protection one if I could. Um, again, just protection one, but uh, I'm guessing I'm going to need um, a few more, a few more bookcases around for it to work. So uh, again, um, feather falling protection one. So what I shall do is I shall leave that just for the moment. I'm going to get a few more bookcases and then come back, hopefully find a little bit more lapis and then see uh, see what I can enchant then. Okay, just to show you what I mean is by gathering up some orbs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, feed the cows. You can see that uh, I'm still on uh, experience level 25, just over halfway. So if I go into the pen, if I just go into the pen and I get my wheat out and I start, uh, oh, not hitting them, <laughs> loving them up. There we go. If I start uh, using these then you should see the green bar start, uh, start moving towards the right. So I'm just gaining these levels as I'm, as I'm just breeding these cows up. So that's one way you can improve your experience levels. It's uh, obviously uh, a safer way from going in and uh, fighting all the mobs. You can also, um, uh, you could also, I've got quite a few in there, kill the adult, uh, adult animals. I'm going to need some leather anyway, so I need to kill a few of these. So I um, hope uh, hope I'll get some leather out of this. Although I think I'm getting the baby ones there, which I'm not uh, I'm not after. But um, by uh, by killing them, oh, I think I've got one that's got away. He's jumped over the top. Let's uh, let's grab him. Uh, it'd be a, hopefully an easier one. So. There we go. And I, I don't know whether you could see one little green orb came straight off of that as well. So I'm also going for the chickens. Let's get in the chickens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a lot of eggs first so I can put them back in there. And whilst I'm in here, I'm just going to kill a load of these and see where we go. I've probably got a full infantry now with eggs and everything. So uh, what have we got? Yes, I thought just as much. Let's get rid of some of these eggs and then um, I can try and get my uh, green orbs back. So let me just, uh, well, before I do that, let me just show you if I just uh, feed them up with some uh, with some um, seeds, then uh, again, my uh, experience level should, you can see it then going higher there as I'm going through straight into straight into 27 so it's quite a quick way of doing it also i uh i need the um feathers from the chicken anyway so there i am i'm back up to experience level 28 i'm pretty much where i started from um so uh, it's quite a quite a good haul really so if i'm just going to get rid of some of these some of these eggs hey yeah where did he come from he's uh where did that car let him i'll leave him be just for the moment and uh, I shall uh, I shall grab him in a second. So there you go. As you can see, just by uh, breeding up the animals and the chickens, uh, you can uh, I've got literally the same experience level as I had before I actually enchanted my sword. So it's kind of a quick and easy way. Well, I say quick, it will take a couple of days to uh, to build it back up doing it this way, but it's a lot safer than uh, than going down the mines to, uh, to fight all the mobs and uh, obviously a lot safer than going to the nether. Okay, so before we wrap up, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab a whole load of sugar cane as it's all grown here and then um, oh, let's replant some there as well and then I can jump back in see how many books we can get I think I only got a couple of pieces of leather I didn't get that many so um, but the sugar cane I need to get the paper for so uh, let's just quickly replant these here did any more any more gone nope so I'm just gonna nip back to the house and uh, just grab a couple of books and uh, see what enchantments we can put with the book.
So as we come back in, I'll just uh, let's make some paper here with the uh, sugar cane that we've got. That will be enough just for the moment to show you guys. So there we go. Let's grab a couple of books. How many can we get? Four books. Well, I can make one bookcase. Let's make one bookcase here. And um, I can use the other book as an example. So there's one bookcase. Let's head over to the enchanting table. Let's pop the bookcase down. Let's put the book down as well. Oh, what do I do that for? What do I do that for? Right, let's put the bookcase down here. So the other thing you could do, this mother lapis, is you can enchant, put an enchantment on a book, and then when you have an anvil, you can add that enchantment to um, to whatever item you want to. So there we go, put the book in there. If I put the lapis in here, I need a maximum of 10. Well, we're back up to 28. So I can put either protection one or a sharpness one on there as well. So I can actually enchant the books as well, and then add that to, um, uh, to our items a little bit later on. So there we go. There's our uh, enchanting table. We finally got around to making one. Next job is I'm going to go off down the mine and get a few more resources. I'm either going to build the barn or it's uh, time to build a nether portal. I don't think we can hold it off for much longer and then uh, make our way to the nether. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, so until next time, guys, you take care of yourself. Please consider subscribing on your way out. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.